drawn the ire of conservatives from around the country. And now Cindy Sheehan says she is a finalist for the Nobel Peace Prize. She made the claim during a stop on her book tour in Austin, Texas. But because the Nobel Prize Committee doesn't release the name of nominees, her claim could not be confirmed. In any event, this is the same woman who recently said this about President Bush at a book signing that we attended on Long Island. Right after Casey was killed, I saw a Twilight Zone episode where this lady went back in time and her job was to kill Hitler when he was a baby. And I tell that story and I even thought, wow, what if I could go back in time and kill George Bush when he was a baby? And then he wouldn't be able to, to wreak this devastation on the world. Joining us now, radio talk show host G. Gordon Liddy and Stephanie Miller. We welcome you both. Stephanie, you interviewed uh, Cindy Sheehan today on your radio show, is that right? Yes, I, uh, that's what I did is I went to the source and then I went to AP who confirmed that she was on the short list for Nobel nominees. It's called journalism. Fox News might want to check into it sometime. Uh, we'll do that. That's a good idea. Right? We, uh, we don't know that. Well, we've not been able to confirm that. But G. Gordon Liddy, let me ask you, uh, if uh, Cindy Sheehan, it seems to be the anti-darling of the right. They just love to beat up on Cindy Sheehan, this grieving mother. And um, why shouldn't she be up for a Nobel Peace Prize? Got a problem with that? Well, I, I can now announce that uh, I was third runner-up for the Nobel Prize for <laughs> Physics, and I have as much to back that up as she has to back <laughs> hers up. It's what is known in uh, logic as a gratuitous assertion, and as you know, any gratuitous assertion may be equally as gratuitously denied. Well, now, but why, why assume the oh, negative well, about me, her? Well, let me hear. Okay, look. Uh, her son volunteered for combat arms for the United States, and uh, that was a very honorable and uh, patriotic thing to do. He lost his life in the defense of his country, and that was a very honorable thing to do. And she uh, is a gold star mother, and that's an honorable thing to be. Uh, but she has uh, allowed her grief to addle her brain, and she has been sort of preempted by the loony left. That's a pretty cruel thing to say, Gordon. I mean, you can't. No, it's you, a pretty, you know, it's so a pretty everybody, reasonable everybody grieves thing differently, to say. though. People grieve in different ways, and everybody goes through a process that's different than everybody else, and this is her way of grieving. It's pretty mean-spirited to say that they're grief, the grief of ad has addled their brain. I mean, well, a woman lost uh, a son. By their fruits, ye shall know them. I mean, you know, she keeps doing these uh, addled things. And uh, I kindly attribute this foolishness that she engages in uh, to her grief. And I think I'm being kind. I know, it doesn't sound to me like you're doing being too kind. I got to wonder, Stephanie, uh, you know, I wonder if uh, Cindy Sheehan is a better choice a Nobel Peace Prize than George W. Bush. Well, yeah, and uh, by the way, uh, I talked to Cindy. She sends her love to you guys at Fox News. She's a big fan. Um, you well, know, I, I I've interviewed her on radio a number of times, too. Look, I uh, know. but go ahead. I'm not talking about you, Alan, everyone else but you. Um, but, uh, you know, I, here's the thing. I mean, she certainly, in my mind, is much more qualified for a Nobel Peace Prize, someone that's actually campaigned for peace than when Henry Kissinger won it. I think that's when irony officially died, the day Henry Kissinger won the Nobel Peace yeah. Prize. G. Gordon you know, Lydia, I, they've given, well, they certainly given the Nobel Peace died, Prize to people like Yasser Henry Kissinger. Who, 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 when Yasser Arafat yeah. won it, that's when irony died. Are you okay with Henry Kissinger getting, getting it, Gordon? Is that okay with yes, you? Yes, I'm okay with Henry Kissinger. You know, I, I got to say, Alan, I just feel like she has the moral authority. She, she sacrificed something in this war. She gave her son. What did the people that, that are criticizing her give? As you say, everybody grieves differently. And anyone that has met Cindy knows that she is the warmest, most wonderful person in the hey, world. Stephanie. She went on to say right after that clip, by the way, that she would never kill anybody. Hey, you Stephanie. can't tell me that any parent Stephanie that hasn't Rich lost Lowry. a son has not, has not, has lost a child, has not, you know, thought about so what they would want to do to the let person me, they see is here, responsible Stephanie. for it. Stephanie, first of all, you should uh, go back and do your reporting again, apparently, because what AP reported is that her name has been raised in speculation. It didn't confirm that she has been nominated for a Peace Prize or is on the short list or any of that AP other nonsense. AP confirmed that to Cindy today, and AP cons confirmed it to me. It's been that, raised in speculation. So now, let me ask unlike, you, Stephanie, on, on the merits of this. Unlike some of the fake Nobel Prize winning doctors you guys have had on here during the Terry Schiavo thing, she was actually nominated by someone that was qualified to nominate her All right, for Stephanie, a Nobel Prize. Stephanie, let me ask you this. Let's, let's talk about the merits of a Peace Prize for Cindy Sheehan. Tell me, please, how it will advance the cause of peace in the world to have the United States quit Iraq the way Cindy Sheehan wants, so possibly a full-blown civil war will break out in that country, or it will be taken over by terrorists. How will that adv advance the cause of peace? 
Oh, yeah, you're right. The president's plan is working much better. That's, I mean, not, what please, that's not what I was asking Rich, you. Please tell me how it'll advance the cause of peace. The National Intelligence Estimate has come out and said the same thing that Cindy and the vast majority of Americans have been saying now for a couple of years, and that Cindy, is that Iraq Stephanie, is not, making you're terrorism worse. You're not Iraq answering the question. Iraq is making terrorism G G worse. G. Gordon, let, let me see if you can answer this question, because Stephanie's evading it. If we leave Iraq, will that advance the cause of peace in the world? No, it would be a disaster. It will spread war. You're going to have uh, a, a, an al-Qaeda base in Iraq. You're going to have uh, internecine warfare between the Sunnis and the Shias, much worse than you have it now, and probably the Kurds. Uh, you'll have Iran uh, uh, probably getting the bomb and then starting to give it to terrorists. It's just going to metastasize. It is an incredibly stupid thing to do. Stephanie, since you're apparently the reporter among us, have you done any reporting about whether Thank Cindy Sheehan's statement that terrorists in Iraq are freedom fighters is accurate or not? Do you agree with that assessment? Rich, our soldiers are caught in the middle of a civil war. You know, what John Murtha says is, is respectfully, I think, correct. You know, all due respect to G. Gordon Liddy, I, I, I feel that our, our troops are the target. They are caught in the right. middle Ste of a Stephanie, civil though, war. Stephanie, with they, all due respect, could you answer the, my questions? The 4% of the insurgency is, is al-Qaeda. They will kick them out if we get out. Stephanie, that is why, my personal why can't opinion. you answer these simple questions? Are they freedom fighters the way Cindy Sheehan, your hero, this Nobel Prize nominee according to you, are the terrorists in Iraq freedom fighters? I don't think she called the terrorist freedom fighters. She called the Iraqis. That, no, look, no, 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 no. If, if someone invaded our country and said we had weapons no, of mass destruction uh -uh. and we didn't, do Stephanie, you think Americans would try to the kick people, them out? She said the people going Rich, over the, the borders to attack us in Iraq are freedom fighters. The vast majority of Iraqis want us out. The vast majority of Iraqis want us out of their country. Do you the vast believe majority... people fleeing into Iraq are freedom fighters? Do that I, running, running into Iraq to fight us to, to, to kill today. our, she our was troops are freedom fighters. Yes, she, she was. She was not referring to terrorists. She was quote. not. G. Gordon she was Liddy, let me ask you. Iraqi people. Let me ask you. The people who are fighting us in Iraq, the Shiite, Shiite, Shiite radicals, the Sunni radicals, are they, in your mind, freedom fighters? Stephanie is again having trouble. Uh, no, discussion. absolutely not. Uh, the uh, <laughs> you've got three different categories of people. You have uh, persons, I think, that are uh, uh, properly designated terrorists. That will be al-Qaeda in Iraq. Uh, you have uh, some uh, Sunnis who are uh, fearful that there will be a three-way split in the country and they will Stephanie, not get oil. As you said, Stephanie, she paid an enormous price yeah, in please. this war. We thank Alan, you both. Please talk to your friends. Have some decency.